So in the last video, we showed you how to turn SAS on. Um, now, you should be at this screen where you see um, SAS Studio in your browser after entering localhost um, colon 180. One thing that's really, really important is that you should minimize, and I mean minimize, click on the yellow uh, minus sign. Um, do not click on the X, meaning do not close this window, just minimize it. Um, and the reason because I want you to do this is um, if you click on this black screen over here, you actually lose your mouse capabilities for a few minutes. And it gets kind of annoying. So it's best that you minimize this window. So now you have your SAS environment. Um, if you notice, there are a couple components of the SAS environment. The first component is your code. Um, this is your most important part of your SAS. You can, your code will tell you to, um, how to actually manipulate that data. Um, for example, um, we're not going to talk too much about what this code does, but let's say I want to just import um, a folder, a CSV file called Disability New 2 um, into a SAS data set. And we'll talk about this more in depth in a later video. The goal here is to just show you um, what each component of SAS actually does in the, un in the UI. So let's See what happens next. All right, so if I highlight this, um, in your code, you have a little running man. So the, the code portion is where you enter your code, you do you tell SAS what you want to do, you tell SAS which file you want to um, you want SAS to manipulate and then you're gonna click on the little running man and that's also in your code that's a compiler once you click on the compiler typically you can view the log that's your best practice always go into your log and your log will tell you if there are any errors in this case um, blue is good um, typically there are there really aren't any errors here um, but you'll find out that Getting, you're going to be getting a lot of errors when you first start off, and that's totally fine um, because the log is actually pretty clear. Let's say, for example, um, let's compile this. Notice you have an error right over here. It says, so in the local version of SAS on the desktop, it'll turn red. In this version, it'll say, you'll have the word error right over here, and it'll say import canceled, blah, 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 and then it's actually really specific. It's a specify replace option to overwrite um, this process to fix this error. And we're not gonna talk about exactly what this actually does until the later videos, but I just wanted to sh show you the power of the log. So let's run this again. Notice here, you have another error, and it says CSV path is not a list of accessible paths, uh, meaning you probably gave the wrong path. And if you notice right over here, when you go to properties, that says folders with an S. That's in the folders. Um, so let's switch that. Let's rerun that. And notice in your uh, blog now, um, everything successfully works. It doesn't say any errors. It tells you your final output data set. And we're going to go into all this in a few minutes um, and in the later videos. Um, your output data shows you the results of your data manipulation. Um, if you're using SAS Studio or SAS On Demand, then you will have an output data file. 
Um, and then there's also your results window. Your results window gives you um, any results that are pertaining to a frequency table, a regression, a chart. In this case, all we did was import a data set. Um, so we're really creating another data set. So when you're not creating a data set um, and you're actually creating output, that's when something will show up in your results table. Um, for example, if you run a frequency of something, um, then that will totally show up. So for example, if I run a frequency of the number of IDs, let's say in this data set, then you should have results show up because these are actual frequencies in the table. Um, so we're not going to go into what this code exactly means right now. We're going to have that for the next video, uh, next few videos, but um, I just want to give you a clue about what the code does, what the log does, what the results do. Um, what's most important is that you keep your original data set and your final data set, and the code is the most important part of your SAS session. You have to save it somewhere.